if you're looking to buy a house, but you're kind of stuck because your credit score is not doing so well. Well, hi, my name is Luis Menez, and today I'm going to show you five easy ways that you can help your credit score go up. Now, let's start with the first is figure out where you stand on your credit card. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they may kind of really think what they have. You know, they're thinking like they're in the mid, you know, 700s. And then, you know, when you actually check your credit score, you're like, oh, man, I'm like in the lower 600s. I really need to work something out. Um, so this is always a, a, a big step you want to do is check your credit score. Now, you can go to the is a once a year is a free uh, credit report. It's called annualcreditreport.com. You could go there and you could check your credit report for free. But another tool you could do is Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, and also a lot of your banks um, on the app, a lot of them have a certain credit, uh, a certain like credit information that shows you what your estimated credit score is. Now, here's the thing is, whatever it says it is, kind of minus it by like 20 and, you know, and kind of focus on that. So if it's at the seven, uh, 700, kind of have a mindset that, you know what, this is probably 680 and work with the 680 and try to get up. Because that's probably going to be a better uh, scenario for when you're looking to buy a house, you could focus on that lower number raising so that way you, you kind of have a better goal to attack. Next is when you're finding, uh, when you find out your credit score, go through and, and find any errors and dispute them. So you're going to go there is usually when you go to like Credit Karma or one of these places is going to have a list of different uh, credit cards you, you owe. And it'll show like maybe if you have a bank account, it'll show if you um, have like medical accounts on there. It'll show everything that you owe. Even if, if you have a dispute with, I would say, um, like a, a, a credit, you know, someone's trying to um, collect money from you, a, credit, a collections company. So it's going to have those things on there that you need to take a look at. Now, once you see that, you want to dispute them, especially if you see fraudulent charges. And on the link below, I'm on the description, I'm going to have a few numbers you could call to dispute if you do uh, find any errors on that. Now, the third step you could do to help increase your credit, here's the main goal, is to stop the bleeding. Now, what I mean by that is you need to put your card away. If, you're, if you have a credit card, you use your credit card all the time, and you have a little credit, put that card away, cut it up, put it in the freezer, you know, keep it away. You don't want to spend that. You want to stop right now, especially if you're looking to buy a house. You want to put a pause to it. Now, uh, when you're looking to buy things, you're not going to try to buy using your debit or cash. When you buy, your mentality needs to be, do I need this? Or do I want this? Now, everything that you want to buy, however much that's worth, you're going to pay off your credit card or you're going to put into savings. You you need to focus for temporary. You can hold off temporary to increase your score. Now, when it goes to do I need this, you want to ask yourself a question. Do I really need this? Or you know, do I need this right now or can I wait a little bit? You know, there's a few things that we do need, but we don't need it right now. We could we could wait maybe the next paycheck, or we could wait, you know, next month. We could kind of do without just temporary, even though it's something that we like. And you wanna you wanna spend your money wisely as you build your credit. Now, the next thing is you want to start paying your bills on time. Now, it sounds simple, but Pay, by paying your bills on time, you're not going to get these penalties and your credit score is not going to go down by that. So once you start paying on, on time, it's going to show a history. Hey, he knows how to pay or she knows how to pay their bills. And then you're not going to have to pay a $35 penalty fee. But if you do have that in the past, call each company up and say, hey, I want a refund. I want you to put that money back onto my account. Most credit card companies will do up to two uh, two penalty fees and they'll put it back on your account 
Now, a good way to kind of avoid that, you can set up automatic payments. You could schedule on the app, and it'll say, hey, I'm going to pay a certain amount of money on this. And then what's cool is you could also connect it to your bank where any money that's over $50 or any money that's over a certain amount, you get a text. So it has all of these notifications. And then you kind of have a record on where your money is going. You could kind of, at the end of each month, you could see what you, how much you've made and how much you've spent and kind of work with that. Now, um, now the last one is going to be paying down your credit card balance. You want to lower that as much as you can. A good trick is to ask for a lower interest rate. Uh, you know, call up a company and say, hey, if you got a 27 or 29% APR, call them and say, hey, do you have any promotions? They might say no, but always say, hey, can I speak to a supervisor? And say, hey, I've been with your company for such and such time. I want to be there longer. I need you to help me out. I need you to lower my credit score. Don't ask. They'll say, hey, can you please? I need you to lower my credit score. And nine times out of ten, they're like, you know what? We could do it for you which is pretty good. But if they can't, here's another one. Another thing you got to be careful with is a lot of companies are a lot of people that say, hey, if you want to fix your credit card, don't open up a new credit card. If you want to fix your credit score, don't open up a new credit card. Well, here's a trick that I've done and a lot of people have done, I've you know, that I've told them about and it works with them is you can open up a new card, but look at the bonuses uh, and see if they're able to do a balance transfer. Make sure the balance transfer is at zero dollars or zero percent and make sure it's for like 12 to 18 months. So, but when you op apply for that card, when you call them up and apply for that card, you will not mention balance transfer at all. Don't mention it because the second you do, they're going to go through everything and say, nope, you don't qualify. So once you open it, once if you can apply now all this, use cautions. This is your own, you know, do your own research, see if this is good for you. But once you uh, once you do apply and once you do get approved, if you get approved, call them back up and then say, hey, I want to do a balance transfer. So if you had seven thousand dollars and you're paying a minimum of two hundred dollars at twenty seven percent interest rate, I mean you're not paying off that debt. You're just coasting and they're making money off of you. But now you do a balance transfer and it's at 0% APR and still pay the highest you can on that card, you will be able to pay off that $7,000 in no time, which would be really good, what you want to do. So um, those are some of the tricks and tips you can do to increase your credit score. Mind you, you want to have your debt to what you owe or the debt to the credit limit to be under 30 percent for example if you owe 500 dollars, if you have a credit limit of 500 dollars, but you only owe 30 uh three but you're in debt to 300 dollars on that that's a that's about what 60 percent of that credit limit and it's it's going to make you look bad if you could call and increase that you know to a thousand dollars your credit limit to a thousand dollars automatically right there you're at 30 percent and that's going to make you look better it's going to make your score go up now these are some tips and tricks i'm not a professional these are some you know quick things you can do on your own and if you can't do these things, if, if none of these things are actually going to affect your credit score, if it's actually something a little bit deeper, then you do might want to speak with a lawyer or with uh, another consultant on that aspect where they could actually uh, go in a little bit deeper and speak to the companies on your behalf. Now, these are, if you can't do these simple tricks, and if these simple tricks don't work for you, definitely go straight to them. Uh, it's going to cost you, some will cost you, you know, up to a thousand dollars up front. Some may cost you about a hundred bucks a month. Um, but those are good. Now we're talking about other things like, you know, what's in collections or uh, student loans and there's other programs like that. But if it's just credit card debt, this could definitely help you out. So if you can't, please subscribe, hit the bell and thank you for watching. Have a good day.